Greetings, Phil McCordy here with another science video about science videos. This is debunking another video that says it's a science experiment that I've seen on YouTube and Instagram and especially TikTok. And here's the video we're talking about. Get yourself a glass of water and an egg. Uh-huh. Get yourself a battery that looks like this. Right. Rub it on the egg. What? Drop the battery into the water. Salt, three shakes. One, two, three. Add three drops of soy sauce. Take a banana and stir it up. Take any metal fork. Can't have a rubber handle. It's gotta be metal. Watch, watch this. <gasps> no! <laughs> so, I guess we're just gonna try this. Okay, so we have some water, add some salt, soy sauce, battery goes in the water like this, and then there was a banana. We take a fork and we put it inside the water. Oh man, look at that! Nothing happens. If we've reproduced the science experiment exactly, then something's fishy, it's not real. The funny thing is that it is actually cool science. There is a material that will behave like that and you've seen it on Science Max. It's called nitinol wire. A fork like that is probably made with thick nitinol wire in the middle and then maybe coated with a very bendable metal on the outside. And what you can do is you can bend it into a shape and then heat it up so it remembers that shape. And then you bend it back down into its original form and then you put it in hot water and it will change into that shape. Now I don't have one of those forks myself and I wondered where could I get one and oh look at that, you can get it from a magic supply shop. These kinds of forks are used in magic tricks or people's body heat makes the fork bend on its own and people are like wow magic but it's actually pretty cool science, which no one explains. So Phil, you ask me, how do I know if it's a science experiment or if it's a magic trick, especially if a lot of these videos aren't going to tell me? Find either myself or one of my other science friends on YouTube that likes to explain the science behind things and look for that same experiment. Somebody's probably done it somewhere at some time, maybe me, maybe someone else, but I'm sure you can find an experiment with the science behind it. And if you look it up and you can't, then it's probably not science. Or you'd probably find somebody saying why it isn't science like this video for this experiment. The other thing you can do is send me the video because I love to debunk these videos. So if you see a video, put it on my Facebook question hub down below. And until next time, stay curious and skeptical.